So how do you shoot epic looking drone shots without a drone? Maybe you can't afford a drone, or even if you can, maybe you're in a no-fly zone, or maybe it's just too unsafe to fly one above people's heads. Whatever your reason for not being able to fly a drone, I have got the perfect alternative. All of the shots that you can see here have been shot without a drone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can fake a drone shot. This is a really easy technique that anyone can do and the results are incredible. Now you're only going to need three things to pull this off. Number one, a smartphone. Number two, a smartphone gimbal. And number three, a light stand. Okay, so this technique is really simple. We're just going to take our light stand, then we're going to take our smartphone gimbal and we're going to screw it to the top of our light stand like this. We're then gonna take our smartphone and we're gonna attach it to our gimbal like this. And that's it, balance your gimbal and you're good to go. So how does it work? Well, let's start with the basics, the push forward. Extend the light stand as far as it will go and start walking forwards. A nice, steady and consistent pace as usual. This will help keep your shots nice and smooth. Now, framing and composition is most likely going to be your toughest challenge with this setup because you're not going to be able to see what you're shooting. Keep an eye on where you're walking, but also on your phone to make sure it's facing in the right direction. I mostly shoot using the wide angle lens at 60 frames per second as this helps me frame my focal point and gives me the option to slow the footage down in the edit. This definitely replicates that smooth elevated movement that is usually associated with drone shots. Yes, you're not going to get the height of a drone with this, but often you don't need to. This would work great for real estate videos, for example, a perfect way to set the scene. Now, you don't always need to shoot with the camera facing forwards. You can also shoot to the side. This creates an epic dolly-like shot that can really help take your footage to the next level. Also, the closer you get to an object, the faster it feels the camera is moving. You get a much greater sense of movement. Take this shot here, for example. The left-hand side of the frame is moving close to this wall, so everything feels like it's moving quickly, whereas the right-hand side of frame is not, and things feel like they are moving slower. Now that's not to say that shooting out in a wide open space isn't going to look epic, because it is. Just remember to experiment and do what works best for you. The pullback reveal. I love this shot using this setup. Frame your focal point and walk backwards. This shot is great for revealing a location and from this height really adds to the production value of your footage. You can of course shoot this going forwards and reverse the clip. However, if you've got anything moving in your shot, this might give the game away. Shadows. Seeing the shadows of your light stand and camera will really look naff and completely distract from what otherwise would have been a usable shot. Pay close attention to your light source and avoid shadows at all cost. Okay, let's go for gold and put everything that we've learnt into one shot. We're going to push forward at a nice steady pace with our shadows behind us and focal point framed nicely in the background. We're then going to move closely past this tree to create a greater sense of movement from an elevated position. Okay, let's see the results. Camera pushing forward, nice and steady. Shadows behind us, we then swoop past this branch, which is clearly high up off the ground, and the results are what look like an epic drone shot. So look, I'm really curious to know what you think about this technique. Is this something that you're gonna add to your films and videos? If it is, and you found this video useful, let me know by giving it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, then you can do that by watching one of my other tutorials just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.